Pink, Tisha Gary Queen, L Eats, boop, boop, boop. And today, yeah, today I'm eating a cheeseburger. This is a prime cheeseburger, okay? This is that good meat, okay? She thick. That good meat. <laughs> and Leah was eating tackies with the cream cheese and the jalapeno, so I said, Leah, go on and make me one too. So, yep, she went on and made me one. I might not even eat the whole thing, but I'm gonna try to eat it. Cause I liked it a little bit. Um, let me put this together. And I got some Arby's fries. There we go. Got some Arby's fries and some ice rings. So let me say my prayer and get it in. Heavenly Father, bless over this food for the nourishment of my body. Let it give me health, strength, and knowledge and everything you will have of me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling today? All good. All right. What am I going to eat? First, I got to eat this burger. I want to see, see you bite that. It is a big burger, ain't it? <laughs> this thing, no, it's big, y'all. Look. I going to do my thumbnail. How long? Let me hold both of them. Okay. All right, I'm ready to get into it. You got it. Mm. 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 Now that's on the money. That is on the money. I almost broke my braces biting into that thing. But it's so good, y'all. I got lettuce, tomato. Dog, it's looking nasty. But, y'all, sometimes it be looking crazy like this, but be real good. Lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, ketchup, pickle, cheese. What kind of bread you got? Is that potato bread? Mm-hmm. The best bread. <laughs> that thing right. I know y'all like, I ain't never seen nobody eat no burger that ugly before. <laughs> These braces get in the way because I would, I would be really going ham. And bologna. I understand. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's juicy. I got it from Publix. They had some brisket burgers and they had some prime burgers. And so I asked the guy who was putting them out, I said, which one the best? He said, get them get the prime. Brisket, okay. They got they got brisket. It was, it was a patty, brisket patty. The patties, mm-hmm. I'm telling you, it's ugly how I'm eating it, but. It's delicious inside my mouth. It's fine. You know it's good. Tweezy said he used to get them all the time. The prime. When I made the burgers, which was rare. <laughs> this is slamming. I need to get me some water, y'all. Man, I can't get over it. I've been wanting a good burger too. Who's better, Red Robin or Five Guys? Well, burgers, Red Robin or Five Guys? That's a hard one. Both of them good. Both of them are good. Yeah, my anxiety been through the roof. It's just so many cars, so many people. It's like you can't get nowhere because there's so many people, so much traffic everywhere you go. Yeah, and everybody in the rush. I heard people cussing each other out. On the way home, one girl yelling a B word out with her bonnet on. She let her window down on the passenger side. 
She didn't pass her side. She brought that one down. B word! Like a long time. I was like, oh. I said, Leah, did you, did you see that? She said, like, huh? She had on her earphone and was watching something. I said, you sure missed that. The parking lot can be dangerous. And then I was coming out of them. But child, hold on. I was coming out of a shop. And yeah, I'm not picking. So do not take this as me picking. And this is a description. Yeah, I know that movie, How That Heart. Yeah, I know the lady who was on drugs real bad, how it ended with that wig. You know how it was all tangled up and stuff at the end and how she was like that looking. Picture her. Okay. I was coming out of the shop. A girl who wig was just like that. But she looked young. Like she looked like she might have been a little younger than me. And um, can I get a ride? Can I get a ride? I said, uh uh. But the the people who she was with, the dudes who she was with, look looked at just like that too. They looked like they was having a rough day. Like they look like they had a lot going on, is what I'm trying to say. I was not about to get nobody no ride I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I said, um, I said, I got a car full, which I did. Yeah, my kids were in the car. Lil was watching while I ran the store and came out. I said, I got a car full. Then she was like, oh, kiss the babies for me. I'll catch you next time. <laughs> 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 Please don't catch me next time. <laughs> next time. She know for a fact she gonna see you again. I hope and not. next time she's saying you ain't gonna have the kids all the time, so next time <laughs> we good to go. No we're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I pray for it though. Yeah, I it hurt my heart. But she's somebody that young. I hate to see anybody jacked up. But to see somebody that young look like that old, like she been doing it for a long, long time. Like she, she like she could fix herself up and, and actually be pretty. Like actually be a good looking woman. But it looked like, I don't know what went on in her life, but it looked like it tore her down. And I'm serious, the way it was scary how she was yelling at people. Cause after that, after me, and then she was like, kiss the babies for me. I was like, how she know I got, like, how does she know me? Like, but I mean, she might've just been saying it. I don't know. But she started yelling at everybody else. Like everybody who came out of that shop, she started yelling at them. Give me a ride, I need a ride. And I'm guessing she got turned down. Because everybody, you know, kept walking. Then she'd go to the next person. I need a ride. And then when I got to the car, I heard yelling at somebody saying, you can give me a ride. I got gas money. If you got gas money, call Uber. And that's for real. Yeah. Lift, but don't don't be upset with people who don't know you, who don't want to give you a ride. People, it's dangerous out here. It really is. And like I said, it hurt. It, it be hurting me to see people going through stuff. It do. Stuff I can't help them with. Cause that type of stuff I can't be putting myself in. But um, I had seen, one time it was real early, I had to go into to a store. And it was a home, two homeless people. There was a man and it was like a, 
like a foreign lady. I don't know her ethnicity, but she was a foreign, foreign lady. But it was a white guy. He was old. And then the foreign lady. And both of them were sitting like up under the stairs. I mean, you could see them, but they kind of was... They wouldn't hide him, but you know, it's, it's kind of like you just, you come around the corner and you'll see him. So it was freezing that day. I mean, they was, they was trying their best to stay warm. I called Tweez and I told him, I said, well, I'm ready. I'm gonna be a little late coming home. I'm ready to run to QT and get them a cup of coffee and some breakfast. He was like, oh, okay. And so I went and I got him a cup of coffee, you know, to heat him up. A little bit. I don't want to give him no money because I'm sometimes you don't you don't be just having it to give out. I ain't had no cash, so I got him a cup of coffee. I got him some breakfast. I wanted to warm up, so I got him the biggest cup of coffee they had, mm -hmm. and I got him some good kind too. I think I got him French vanilla, so I got him some good coffee, and it was smelling good in the car. <laughs> well. I pulled up, it was after Thanksgiving, so they had like a Thanksgiving dinner, like, like somebody might have brought it and dropped it off. But it was open, it looked like they had been, you know, been eating out of it, but they didn't close it up. It just was open, not them, so. I walked up to them, and I said, here, here you go, I got you some coffee, and I got you um, some breakfast, here you go. The guy, he was like, thank you so much, may God bless you. I said, I just want y'all to warm up. But the lady, she just like took the coffee from me and looked at me like I was crazy. And then she went on ahead and started doing doing what she was gonna do. Which it wasn't for me to be thankful. It, it just it just threw me off with like him. Give me that <laughs> that type of deal. You know, sometimes stuff throw you off. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so I I tried to help. On that note, I'm gonna try to eat this. I don't know if I want it. It's hot. Just like we try to help that dude right before the pandemic, well, in the beginning of the pandemic. Pandemic. And that he man, said, I don't want your water. I don't want your water. <laughs> that scarred me, y'all. I'd be scared to help you right now. I don't want your COVID water. Mm -mm. I don't blame you, dude. Alright, you're right. I'm so crazy. I don't even know if I can eat that. It tastes like so cream cheese, tacos, and a jalapeno. I don't like cream cheese. It's good, but I'm already having a hard time with these braces anyway. <laughs> I need to eat my burger. <laughs> Have you ate your onion rings or your fries yet? I haven't eaten the fries, but I'm so scared with the onion rings. Oh. Them kids eat it. And so, yeah, me and Tweezy, there was during COVID, there was a homeless guy. It was so hot outside. It was at least about 100 degrees. It was degrees. the beginning. And so, I said, Tweezy. Stop by the store, I'm ready to get him some water. I went in there and got him some core waters. And we were driving by him. I said, excuse me, sir. He got, got some water. I don't want your water. I said, and I let the window up. And, and your butt kept going slow so that I could keep feeling bad. I'm like, can you go faster? Like, pass this dude. <laughs> Who was on the busy road? <laughs> it just felt like a long time. <laughs> it was a ride of shame. I felt so little. I said, that wasn't God right there. He didn't want me to get that man that water. That's why I got embarrassed. God said, you did that. I didn't tell you to do that. <laughs> he looked at me. I don't want your water. Keep your water. That's what he said. Keep your water. Say keep your water. I'm up here in an air conditioned truck. <laughs> he out there swimming profusely and telling me to keep my water. 
That's a big slap in the face. <laughs> That's a lot. Not nah, crunching, chewing. It's a lot. That's good. It's too much on me. You like the jalapeno? That was too much. Too. Mm -hmm. That's still my bro. That thing good. Have y'all finished Christmas shopping? Have y'all finished Christmas shopping? I hope so. And I want y'all to be careful. I'm gonna be careful. I want y'all to be careful. There's some rough people out there who are opportunists. Especially when their main target is women with children. That's their main target. Not the only target, but that's the main target. Yeah, they say they get men too. You know, robbing them and stuff, but. But the main target is women with children. Can you Mo distract it? Multiple children. Can you distract it? You trying to get your kids mm -hmm. together and put them in the car and all that? Huh? Y'all be careful out there. I'm gonna be careful, but I want y'all to be careful too. Um. Honey, I had went to the house store, y'all. And I got out the car. I heard punk, this, that, and look. Somebody left their kids in the car and the kids in there fighting. Like, I don't know what. All I seen was people's head get pushed against the window and like. <laughs> Never give a fight. I know they was underage. They, she even had a baby but in the back seat with them. <laughs> I, I'm going to guess the ages. Around about six. Around about four. And the baby in the car seat around about. I say, excuse me, y'all. About 10 months. And another one was in the front seat. It was like he probably was about seven or eight. He swaying from the front seat to the back seat. And then the ones in the back seat smashing each other's head against the window and going off. So it was a three way fight. Everybody, I think the baby was fighting too. There weren't no teams. They were just Everybody was just fighting. It looked like, you know, one of the. <laughs> You know, like on the cartoon, where all you see is punching, and it'd be a cloud of smoke. <laughs> now, if if you in the front seat and I'm in the back, there's no way that you beat me. There's no way. I don't know who was winning, but all I heard if was that dude in the front was winning, I laugh at the little boy. He would tap, everybody would tan each other up. I think the baby was probably fighting too. I mean, my well, right? <laughs> yeah, it was rough. Now I went in there. It was only like it was only one woman in there. I want to say, honey, go out there and get them kids. You don't supposed to leave your kids in no car, but I guess you said I ain't nobody gonna take them. <laughs> they right they are very safe. <laughs> Walking down the aisle, she had a big old booty too. Walking down the aisle. I want to say, honey, quit twitching and get your kids. <laughs> they get fight. Somebody gonna call the police on the thing and they grown people. The way they were talking, I'm telling y'all, they were talking hard. Hardcore junk. <laughs> well, <laughs> hardcore. <laughs> like, it wasn't that worse when I seen that head get pushed against that window. <laughs> I was looking. <laughs> I heard him as soon as I got out of the car. I heard him before I actually seen him. So I was scared to go to the store, you know? You hear all that, but then you realize it's a bunch of kids. Finally, I don't know what. What kind of car was it? Huh? Civic. 
A chord? A Honda chord. Okay. A little bit, a little bit bigger. Now they were fighting in the Civic. <laughs> <laughs> And they had that coat. They had that Honda Accord rocking. <laughs> <laughs> they had that thing rocking. She probably went to say bump that. She needed a break from him. <laughs> yeah. They do that all the time. All day, every day. Yeah. But I still don't agree with leaving kids in the car. People just crazy now. They've been crazy. <sighs> yeah, I'm full. Mm -hmm. I can't do no more. See fries, how they do it? I'm gonna sleep. I'm sleep good tonight, y'all. Good tonight. I know y'all like dog. I'm Queen L talking about everything today. I'm just telling you about the stuff I've been seeing. And that ain't even half of it. And during the holidays, you would see a lot. I'm serious. The traffic, all I've been hearing is people blowing the horn hard and holding the horn down. So y'all be careful out there in that traffic. Watch your surroundings. I'm going to do the same thing because I know y'all going to tell me the same thing I'm telling y'all. Don't be like, ain't nobody gonna bother me. Don't think like that. People, it's, it's something else. It's some, they be on some new stuff. <laughs> you don't know what they've been plotting on, yeah. or how they've been plotting, or how long they've been plotting. Or if they've been watching your routine, or what. You don't know, so just be careful. All right, y'all. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload my newest videos. Check out the Q&T channel and subscribe to that one as well. Peace out.